She won the lone gold medal for Team Canada back in 2012 in London, and Rosie McLennan defended her title here in Rio. Rosie joins me now along with her mom from Rio. Now, Rosie, you've had a few days to sort of process what you've done. Tell me how you're feeling after such a successful outing in Rio. Uh, it feels incredible. I don't know that it always actually hits me. Sometimes I have to pinch myself to see if it's actually real or pick up the medal and see that it's actually real. <laughs> but uh, it's a really incredible feeling. I just feel pure joy. When you think about your actual routine that you went through, that won you gold and you had to sit and watch the two athletes after you, what were the emotions that were going through your head? Were you, were you nervous about it? Did you feel confident about what you'd done? I was really happy with my routine and I think to me that's the most important thing uh, so I wasn't nervous watching the other girls because I also knew right when my score came up that I was guaranteed a medal and my real goal here was to stand back on the podium um, watching the other girls I was definitely cheering them on Lee Dan uh, the girl who competed after me uh, she's been winning the whole season leading into the Olympics so when she completed her routine I actually turned to my coach and said that will take it uh, I did think she had come ahead of me and I would have been so proud of her if she had, um, but uh, turns out I had I jumped a little bit higher than her that day, um, so it, uh, I kept my top spot. And then the, the last girl, I think she was a little nervous and uh, felt a lot of pressure being the last one to compete. So now, Jane, I know you were there sitting with your husband and the rest of the family watching Rosie. What are what's it like to sit in the stands? Are you more nervous than Rosie? I feel like you have to be. I think I am. <laughs> uh, my shoulders go up and down. <laughs> with uh, pretty much every jump and my stomach is kind of nuts <laughs> until she's finished uh, in London they asked me what I thought and my first thought is I'm glad she landed on the trampoline she finished her routine on the trampoline so she's safe and then secondly I think afterwards oh I guess that was maybe a pretty good routine <laughs> with obviously the what you had to overcome to get back to the Olympics did you think that you'd be able to do this again realistically with how difficult your process was with the concussions I had hopes um, but uh, I guess I really didn't know what to expect my goal was to stand on the podium I knew that if I hit my routines I had the capability of being in the top five for sure um, but I really didn't know that I could stand back on the podium, particularly with Lee Dan being such a strong contender and um, having her first chance at the Olympics. Um, uh, I mean, I did. I had two World Cups leading into the Olympics and one went very, as well as I would have liked, but one went very well. So it was kind of, I knew it would be somewhere in between, but uh, I definitely had hope, but I didn't have expectations. So Rosie, I saw that you also got a chance to chat with your grandma. And your grandma was saying that she had 18 messages and she's not sure she's ready to be a celebrity yet. What, what did you think of that? Oh, it was amazing. Uh, it was such an incredible surprise. I was actually talking to Kaylee Humphreys earlier, saying that I had to call my grandma because I hadn't done that yet and I felt really bad. Um, but uh, it was an incredible surprise opening that door and seeing her there. I know she's one of my biggest supporters and um, I, yeah, I was speechless and I definitely had tears running down my cheeks and uh, I'm really excited uh, to go back home and actually see her in person. Have you gotten any call, phone calls from anyone sort of out of the ordinary this time around after winning gold again? Uh, well, I got a call from the Prime Minister, Ooh. but uh, I actually have a different number here in Rio right now, so uh, uh, that one is definitely the big one, <laughs> but uh, maybe when I get back home, I'll have others. And what else do you have to do in Rio? You're all done now. What are you going to do while you're there for the rest of the time? Uh, I'm really excited to cheer on uh, all the other athletes in Team Canada. We have some incredible athletes coming up this week and uh, hopefully spend some time with my family as well because uh, they made the trek down here and I couldn't have been more excited to have them in the stands. Um, yeah, and hopefully check out some of the sites of Rio. That's awesome. Thank you, Rosie. Jane, thank you so much for joining us. Obviously defending gold medalists at the Rio Olympic Games.